everybody. You know who it is, boy with him. What it is, how it is, how it is, what it is. God damn. I told Clinton. Yeah. Man, I'm scared. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to get a bite, though. Uh, yeah, three-day weekend in here. Or at least three days off, I should say. I can take it easy for a little bit, get some rest bit, but... Uh, I wanted to talk, so I'm hungry, so why not? <sighs> why not, you know? Talk. Talk. Okay, well, um, this, this video today, this morning, this young Saturday morning. Happy Saturday morning, everybody. And to shout out all my viewers, especially my followers. Thank you. Um, but back to the task at hand. We're going to talk about credit. Building credit. What what you need to do, what you, what, what's going on, you know, the whole ins and outs. We're going to do, you know what I'm saying? First thing I'm going to let you know is, Bad credit's worse. I mean, there's good credit, bad credit, and no credit. No credit, they claim, is worse than having bad credit. Is at least if you got bad credit. That means somebody took a chance on you, or you're just you 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 finally you're finally showing some credibility because that's what credit is. Let's let's break it down. Financial credibility. And why I'm bringing this up is because last couple of years I've seen I've seen some people and uh, they just they were so goofy with it. I want to help people not be goofy. Um, like they like this is how I knew it. They, they didn't know what was going on. They're like. This fucking sucks. I just went to a fucking dealership. Go get a car. I've got a couple grand and my car to trade in. And they wouldn't do anything for you. And they were complaining about it on Facebook. You need to start showing that you're financially responsible. Um, what usually happens is you start with a credit card. But what it really does is show them proof that you can follow through in your thorough when it comes to financial responsibility. So, bills in your name, shit like that, stuff you're paying, that stuff, that all adds up. It all, it all eventually will add up. So, like if here, example with me. I have bad credit because I owe money. You, you don't even have to have a credit card and you'll get bad credit because you can accidentally take on somebody's debt and not know it or you do know it and not realize the consequences. So you really don't want to do that. Sometimes you get this weird shit that happens where you get charged for somebody else's shit because somehow you get, you're, you're ringed into it. Like, look, when I moved into the place I'm in here now, there was a girl here that owed AT&T like almost 3800 bucks. Well, I went to get an internet through AT&T and they, they sent me the shit and they're like, y'all do yourself. My bill came back. It was like 4300 because they were trying to keep her because I had the same address. I proved to them in like eight different ways. I had nothing to do with that shit. Then it's like, sorry guys. They thought like she was still like here. Somebody else was trying to get in their name. 
So, I should have told him, I'm done with y'all. I'm not messing with y'all. And that, and that messed up my credit. All right. I know it did. I'm trying to look at my credit. Uh, I had like a 493 or something like that. I don't check my credit anymore. I don't use credit card. I don't know that, but always paying your shit on time will help. You go into a fucking car dealership and you got credit. They'll lease your car. You know, you show that you're financially responsible. They'll lease your car, but this is what I'm trying to get at. Our financial system is so fucked up that they'll let somebody who doesn't own a house on paper financial. They'll let them buy a Ferrari. Yeah. Finan you know, because of their credit score. But then... You're going to get five bucks to put in to go around the, you know, 20 bucks to put in to go around the corner. So, go figure, right? Oh, yeah, they'll let you go in debt. And it's all about being in debt. Now. Initially, credit cards is like your jump starter. Other than having like name, shit in your name. You know, simple as that. So, you know, like here's an example. First credit card. Premier. Premier or some shit. Not Premier. Somewhere like that, right? They And they start me out with a $200 limit. I got to throw them like 90 bucks. And then even when I don't use the phone. And not the phone, but the, you know, the, uh, the credit card, it's a $6, $6.25 maintenance fee. And I had $200 limit, right? Well, I've had it now for two and a half years. And since I've had it, every month it goes by, I'll get new credit ones from credit cards, other, other things, Walmart, this and that, JC, I mean, everywhere. Let me tell you, you, know, you, you, everybody, a lot of you guys would probably be getting these motherfuckers, and you know what I'm talking about. And then it says right on there before you open it, has your name right out, but it shows right on the front before you even open the envelope that you're already pre-qualified to be approved for X amount that they put on there. Well, that's how they get you hook, line, and sinker. Don't do that. How you really want to build credit? You want to get those letters in the mail from the same credit card company you got. Telling you they have increased your limit. Not because you requested it. Not because you requested it. Just because you're being thorough. And you're not, you're not. See, this is the thing. I use a credit card. I have a credit card. And I use it here and there. But it's for emergencies. Emergencies only. That's it. Real emergencies. So, like... It was amazing a couple months. I Well, not a couple months. About a month or two ago, yeah. So, so had the K. So was Hobgoblin. But, uh, yeah. They're like, damn. They're like, starting this following month, we're going to up your credit. They're like, your credit. They didn't say we're going to. They said your credit has been up your limit from two to 500. Now, if I call them and go, I wanted the two thousand, they'll put it to two thousand. They'll probably tweak some stuff here and there, the interest rate, whatever. But that's not what you want to do. We're not robbing Peter to pay Paul here. But if you want good credit, you just gotta stay thorough and you gotta show that you have financial credibility. And when you go around asking people fucking shit and they know that you're lying before you even they're even done. Entertaining your thought or reading your stuff or whatever the hell you're out there doing. Any of y'all. You wonder why you got no credit with people. Like. For real. I mean, what do you want me to say? You know, look. 
certain people have certain credibility, certain um, currency. Um, credit is just financial currency, you know. Credibility, you know, having credit is financial credibility. That's completely what it is. So, you can be an impulser and they'll, they'll give it to you because they want you in debt. Because they'll just juice you for the bare minimum. Because this is the thing. I don't even use, when I do use mine, let's say I spent 30 or 50 bucks on it. They'll only want the bare minimum, which is like 30 bucks, 20, 30 bucks, 25 bucks. I'll pay the whole thing. And then like, I didn't use it all last month. So when I paid it, you know, I only had to pay the service fee. Well, I want a credit card that don't got a service fee. That's one thing that's really pissing me off and I don't care for it. But, you know, they do respect me though because, you know, when I got that letter in the mail, it made me happy. They're, I mean, they, they were notifying me that my, my land limit of credit close to 300 more bucks. So I have 500 now that I can use on it. But I guarantee that if I call them and go, well, I want the bump it a little higher oh most definitely we can yes we aim to please yes nothing pays a discover car nothing pays a discover we ain't talking master car either but discover whatever you're gonna do out there they know how to get you and then like they really want they really get you if you use your credit card and get cash advance on it do not do that if you're getting a credit card so you can get a cash advance you better off robbing a bank because your ass gonna be so fucking far up in shit you're gonna wish you had a fucking shit suit because your frog suit's gonna be ate the fuck up. So, having stuff in equity, you know, building equity, portfolios, blue chip portfolios, stocks, cryptocurrencies, real, you know, um, land, whatever, businesses, whatever tickles your fancy, that will help with your credit, your financial credibility. So just understand this right through the dope. Somebody has to trust you, otherwise you gotta go. And like, like I said, we're gonna bounce back to something real quick. If somebody goes out of their way to hit you up and they and they gotta be real, real extra about it, you already know what's up. It's time. You know, you you never even so just. Cause I'll tell you this right now, credibility. Like, There's only three type of currencies other than real money in the streets. Reputation, leverage, and collateral. Well, collateral, not reputation, but you know what I mean. I'm, I'm ranting and raving, slipping on some Tampico. This Gatorade just bleh. I want some juice. Uh, leverage. Reputation and credibility. Those are the real currencies in the streets. Look, reputation. Like I said, I'm not going to keep saying it, but you already know what's up. But you're trying to build your credit. You know, them showing, you know, like, you have no credit unless you're going to buy something flat out, completely buy it flat out. There's, you, you're popped. You should have, they're like, I have a couple grand in a car to trade and I couldn't do nothing. Because I didn't have no credit. Why don't I have credit? Well, go out and get a credit card. Go out and get some shit in your fucking name. Stop, you know, if you ain't got to leave, you know, any, anything. Anything that shows that you're financially responsible. It's common sense, but it's not, I'm not being mean. I'm just I'm talking about some people who just sit there and they're just like, Ugh. I guess that was me at one time too, right? So, but I'm going to let you know that's what you got to do because if you're play Thurston McGirth, they love that shit. They love when you play Thurston McGirth. Oh, yeah, they love it when you play Thurston McGirth. So don't do it. If you an impulse, if you can't control your impulse control and restraint, and you can't show restraint, oh, they're going to take full advantage of you. They're going to vic you the fuck out. 
Yeah, they're going to vic you the fuck out. Yes, they will. Oh, yes, they will. I'm talking to anybody. From the bookies all the way to the credit card. Because you kiss their ass because they give you a credit card. You can use it whenever you want as long as you pay it on time. And they happy. And as long, they, as, long as they get the fucking juice, yeah. And that's exactly why that shit is the same on the streets. Like, you want to get some shit from a, a bookie, he might charge you two and a half points. You willing to pay that vig? And if you don't pay, I'm telling you, compound that principle into the matter. Because, you know, every day ends with a Y. And believe me, they don't, they just don't stop shit for nothing. It don't matter what you got going on. You can claim this happened, that happened, you're fucked. You're going to be popped like a can. Yeah. Like pop, or in running bug, you know? Pop, 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 pop. They just don't like that shit. So, words of advice. You want to build credit? Have restraint. Have patience. Start practicing your impulse control. Those key things. And start thinking. It's not all dollars and cents. It's really about, can we trust you? Now, for them it is, but for you it ain't. Not unless you're trying to do that, and then you, then obviously you're trying to do something wrong. There's something, so... You gotta remember, everybody's got a different, uh, different perspective on things, and then, like, their motive, their angle. Their angle, is, like I told you, you get a card, you get to use it whenever you want, they get the juice the fuck out of you, and as long as you pay it, but they juice you. So if you're willing to deal with that, then, you know, but. <clears throat> I've never let them juice me. And the thing is, you get juiced by default from like service fees and shit like that. Like I told you, maintenance fees, whatever. But like, I've never missed a payment. So what does that tell you on my credit card? Like I've never missed a payment. If I owed any money, it was paid on time or beforehand. The longer you wait, the better it is. Like if you wait right up to the end and pay it, that's fine. But the, if you pay it early, I don't think that makes that big of a difference. But each his own. You see what's going on? But yeah, I'm gonna let y'all go because I want. I made the mind. You know, I told you. You know, I have a three day weekend here now. I'm and it's. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm on the I'm on here with y'all. I'm gonna be on here again, but I need to go. I need to go. So, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. It's another one with your boy with him. I'm out.